This room is a recreation of a typical slave owner's home in the 1840s and 1850s. Many of these artifacts are from that time. And while the slave owners were relaxing comfortably, their slaves were secretly planning their escape, making this home in particular a very important part of Kentucky's Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad, a slave's first step in the journey for freedom. Kentucky was a hotbed for slavery in the 1800s before the Civil War, but it wasn't until the 1830s that the Underground Railroad became more of an organized network. The Underground Railroad consisted of homes and churches acting as safe houses where slaves hid until their next move. It's not necessarily a place where someone may hide. It's a place where people are escaping from. Nancy Stearns Thies is director for the Oldham County History Center in LaGrange. The museum is the original home of James and Amanda Mount. The Mounts were very involved in the slave trade. In addition to owning slaves, James Mount worked as the local slave jailer. In consideration of the sum of $1,250 in hand paid by Amanda M.F. Mount, wife of James Mount. The Mount family has troves of original documents from the mid-1800s, including newspaper advertisements. Many slaves escaped from their plantation. The Mounts used the paper to find the runaways. She hired bounty hunters to go after, uh, we have one that says two Negro uh, slaves uh, left, you know, to join the Union. The shrinking size of the printing press made it much easier for people to place bounties on runaways, in addition to placing advertisements searching for large quantities of human labor. It's unknown how many Underground Railroad locations there were in Kentucky. The state didn't keep good records. The Ohio River, however, was the point to cross for runaways. It was also the Mason-Dixon line. States north of it were free, making Kentucky, in a way, a gateway to freedom. There were all kinds of escapes that people used. People would jump on steamboats. People would use railroads. Uh, even the canals that were built up in Cincinnati, people would follow canals trying to get north to freedom. Although the horrors of slavery can be tough to learn, the fight for freedom was instrumental in shaping our world today. These people made great sacrifices for us to be able to live the way that we do today. If we forget these people, then we don't do justice to all of the sacrifices they made for us, and we don't appreciate where we live. Reporting in LaGrange, Alden German, WHIS 11, on your side.